The crisis in Haiti is escalating with violent gangs terrorizing the small nation. Today, non-essential United Nations staff began leaving Haiti. It's also the deadline for names to be submitted for the transition team that will select the country's new leader. Closer to home, Governor Ron DeSantis today announced that he is increasing security across Florida's coasts. Hundreds of Florida National Guardsmen are being deployed to South Florida to make sure Haitians are intercepted at sea and then repatriated. CBS News Miami's Tanya Francois joins us from Florida City where we wait for the troops to start moving. Tanya. That's right, Lauren. We are right along US-1 Cardtown Road in Florida City. You cannot get to the Keys without driving down Cardtown Road. Extra law enforcement will soon begin heading south on a Border Patrol mission. But if any Haitians, along with their children, manage to make it on shore, Miami-Dade County Public Schools say they are ready. We're in close proximity to many of the islands that often experience uh, either uh, political or, or uh, social or uh, uh, climate uh, uh, challenges, and we're always anticipating a potential migration. Already, the school board has registered double the amount of Haitian students to Miami-Dade public schools than they did last year. During the 2022-23 school year, from August to February, Miami-Dade schools saw 446 new Haitian students. So far this year, in the same time frame, that number has more than doubled. More than 1,100 new students, all from Haiti, have registered for school. We've actually proffered items to make sure that we have staff that can speak uh, Haitian Creole and French fluently, but also having a, a center that has the demographics that represent those communities that may be affected. The Biden Humanitarian Parole Program has brought some 200,000 Haitians to the United States, many fleeing the years of conflict Haiti has endured. The parole program is still in effect despite airports being shut down since the current crisis began. Concerns over mass migrations from Haiti are growing. Governor DeSantis requesting the following to protect Florida's border. 39 officers will come from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement or FDLE. 23 officers and 8 sea craft from the Florida Fish and Wildlife. Florida National Guard sending 48 guardsmen with 4 helicopters. And the Florida Highway Patrol will send 30 officers and aircraft and drones. Those troops expected to start moving at any moment. And new, to, and new tonight, U.S. Congressman Jared Moskowitz out of Broward County is calling for the House Foreign Affairs Committee to meet and hold a briefing on Haiti. No word yet on when that will happen. Live in Florida City, Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami.